I'm Cynthia Mari. I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter. I'm from Zimbabwe and I sing my own brand of music, but uh, it definitely has a Zimbabwean feel to it. I have always got a Zimbabwean guitar in, in my songs and um, most of my songs are about life, you know, and what I try to focus on is uplifting stuff, positive messages in my music. Music is so much part of me. I was born with the love of music. I remember at an early age, probably about five years old, I said I wanted to be a singer. There's nothing I've ever wanted to be more than a singer. The inspiration tends to just come from situations around me, from the people around me, from friends. You know, just watching people sometimes just brings out great stories and of course sometimes my own experiences, you know. I'm on my second album. The first one was R&B that had songs like Catch Me When I Fall back in the day. That's the one that uh, I won, you know, a few awards in the UK for. And my current album is called Songs My Mother Loved. So that particular album is a tribute to my mom who I lost um, in 2012. Um, although it's a tribute, it's not like a sad album, you know, it's got some sad songs, but it's actually quite uplifting, full of positive messages about, you know, remembering people and being thankful and having fun and, and all that. So that's my second album. And I'm already working on my third album. The current one is called Songs My Mother Loved and it's on iTunes. So you can actually get yourself a copy. Just Google Cynthia Murray. It's on Amazon as well and Spotify. When I was in the UK, one of the biggest challenges I had was uh, how to reach my people. Because I really I've always, I love my country, I love my people, and I've always wanted to make sure I reach them. So that was the hardest thing for me. And then obviously coming back home, I'm more in touch with them, much more. Um, but of course, being a female artist as well comes with, with some limitations. You know, because sometimes they, the gigs that come up are, they just want guys on the gigs or, you know, it's just it's just a different ball game when you, when you're a female up against all these big guys. <laughs> uh, but you know, I, I'm just very positive about my my music, and I, I I believe in myself, so I keep on you know grinding. I keep on going. I know where I'm trying to get. To. I've done a song with Jar Praiser. It's not out yet. No one's heard it yet. It's it's coming out very soon. It's very exciting, and. Um, I'm also doing some other collaboration with uh, some of the dancehall guys. And then also internationally, I mean, Huma Sekela, I definitely want to do one with him. He's, he loved, absolutely loves writing with, so looking forward to that. And I've, I have done a show with uh, Steve Dyer, uh, sax saxophone player from South Africa, legendary. It was fantastic and I'm hoping that we actually then take that further into actually doing a project. <laughs> I think I've got supporters, you know, people that has been supporting me. I want to say thank you so much. I appreciate it. I see it every single day. I think I get emails about my songs right away. Probably ish ten a day of people telling me their stories. I don't stop. Keep supporting me.